Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Why is it that the European Union is synonymous with fraud and malfeasance in so many member states? Why is it that we've gone 18 years without a clean bill of health in the Court of Auditors report? Is it because the European Union attracts particularly bad people? I don't think so. I mean, of course, it attracts some bad people. There are bad people everywhere. Man is fallen. But I don't think there is a higher proportion of wickedness in the EU institutions than in any national government. The problem, rather, is the lack of democratic control and scrutiny, the lack of a link between taxation, representation and expenditure. <laughs> Unlike a national parliamentarian, we in this chamber are not raising money directly, and that means that we have a very different attitude when it comes to spending money. The more remote government becomes, the further from the eye of our constituents, the easier it is to engage in nepotism, graft and other forms of malpractice. If we want to reduce fraud, we should take decisions more closely to the people that they affect. Thank you, Herr Kelly.